Hi guys, in this tutorial we will tell you how to add news page into your app. With news feature in your app, you can keep your users updated about latest happenings going across the world. Let's get started now. Enter your business name and click on next. Based on your business name, the app will show you some specific categories. If you can't find the appropriate category, click on view more categories. Here you will see all the categories, choose the one that best suits your business. Once done, click on next. Now select an app design as per your choice and click on next. Now let's add the page. Click on view all here and search news. Click on the page to add it. Here is your news page name. If you want you can change it as per your needs. From here you can change the page icon. If you want you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Let's add some news. Click on add news. A pop-up window asking to add new category will open. Enter the category name here. Now select whatever you need to show the category on home page or not. From here you can change the status of the category to active or inactive. If you want you can sort news by date from here. Once done click on create category. You will see a category has been created on your news dashboard. Click on this icon if you want to edit update the category. From here you can change the status of the category. Click on, click on this delete icon to delete the category. Now click on this manage news icon. You will be redirected to manage news section. Here you will see two options, add listing and add feed URL. Click on add listing. The add, the add listing pop up window will open. Enter your news heading in the heading field. Now add the place. Next comes news date. If you want you can select the current date or any of the future dates. You can even select the news timings from here. In the full story field enter the news story. From here you can change the status of the news to active or inactive. If you want you can lock the news from here. Click on add image images to add image to your news. From here you can add YouTube video to your news. You just need to provide the YouTube URL here. If you want you can also add a PDF file to your news from here. You can either upload the PDF from your device by clicking on add documents button or through a PDF URL. Once done click on save. Click on settings if you want to edit update the news. If you want to delete multiple news in one go select the specific news and click on delete. If you want you can change the status of the both multiple news in one go. Just select the specific news and select the appropriate option here. Now go to general settings. Here you will see configuration settings which you can turn on and off as per your needs. Now go to language settings. Here you will see all of the alert messages appearing in your news page. If you want you can edit them. Next comes import export listings. If you want you can upload the new CSV file from here or export the files in CSV and XLS format here. Now let's move to page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page background. If you want you can select a background for image from our library or choose from our solid colors or upload your own custom background image. If that's not enough you can also upload different custom images for both portrait and landscape mode or use the same for both modes. You can even change the page layout from here. Next comes advanced elements customization. From here you can change page elements color, font style, font size and indent. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to hide border. If you want to hide image, tick mark this checkbox. From here you can enable or disable back navigation button on header. Once you are done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching.